Hello, I am Rohit and today I will help you learn how to export masters and transactions from an already made company in Teddy to a new company in Teddy.ERP9. I will go to select company. I select Anita International Demo Company. If I go to the daybook, I see certain transactions which have already been done in this company. If I go and check the statistics, I find I have done about 8 transactions and some voucher types, units, ledgers have been created in this new company, old company, Anita International Demo Company. So, I want to export masters from this company to a newly made company. What I'll do? I'll go to display, then list of accounts. This list of accounts shows various ledgers and other masters, go-downs, units, stock items, tariff classifications, other heads which are already present in this company. I will now click export. I will select the format XML data interchange. I in the default tally gives me the name master.xml. I can keep my own file name. Let's assume it is one two three four or one two three dot XML. Right now, it is asking me what type of heads I want to export. I will be exporting all masters, that means everything which is available in this company. Export closing balances as opening. This means from an earlier made company, if this company had been for the financial year 2014 15 and I wanted to export masters of this company into a new company for the financial year 2015-16, I could have kept the option yes so that all the closing balances would come as opening balances into the new company. For the time being, I am keeping this option as no. This override came because earlier also I had exported this file. So it is overwriting that file. So if now I will just go, I will see I have a file which has been created now as 123.xml. I will now create another company as an in demo company now in this newly made company i would i would like to import the masters of the earlier company Now I find that my both the companies are open. To be on the safer side while importing, I should have only one company in which I want to import masters open. So I have to shut down this company. I will go Alt F1, shut company. You know why I shut this company? Because by mistake, if I import the master into this company, it will be overwriting my earlier data. So here now I go to import of data, masters and 123.xml. I have got three options, modify with new data. I will be selecting this option because I had no earlier data in this company.
if I now go to the ledgers, I see the ledgers have been imported. If I go to the statistics option, I find my 14 ledgers which were there in the earlier company has come into this new company. So in this way, I imported my masters from an earlier made company into a newly made company. One thing. While importing, remember, do shut down all the other companies and import and keep the company open into which you want the data to be imported. Again, I want to import or export transactions from Anita International Dharma Company into my newly made company. Remember, this is possible if both the companies belong to the same financial year. So what I will do is, I will go to the daybook, display and daybook, open the period of the daybook through which I want to import the data. I will press the button export. Again, I can give a new file name, my own choice file name. I will keep all the options as yes, so that I am able to retrieve everything which is there in my earlier transactions. A newly fi made file 123456.xml has been created in the folder. Now I will shut this company, open the company into which I want to import data. I will go to import of data menu, then vouchers and I will write the name of the file. The data has been imported. If I go to the statistics, display statement of accounts, statistics, I find the 8 vouchers which were there in the earlier company, it has come into my new company. So in this way, we exported masters and transactions from an already made company of Tally into a newly made company. Remember. Before doing this, take a backup of the old company so that in case of any eventuality, you can retrieve your data through the backup. Also, while importing the data into a newly made company, keep or shut down all the other companies. So by mistake, you might not open into the uh, import into the wrong company. This is very important. It's a very small uh, thing, but sometimes it leads to a big disaster. So today we learned how to export masters and how to export transactions from an already made company in, of Tally into a newly made company. Do subscribe to my channel Discover Tally in YouTube for more uh, guides in this regard. Thank you.